Today we are going to learn about division. Division is such an awesome thing to be able to do. And you're going to have it all figured out. You're going to learn how to divide in this video. And we're going to start off with a story. There's this kid named Ethan. And Ethan loves carrots. He loves carrots so much. He loves to snack on them. He loves when he gets to eat them. They're crunchy. They're tasty. Yeah, carrots are awesome. In fact, I'm literally eating a carrot right now as I'm speaking. Carrots are great for your skin. Carrots are great for your eyes. They're amazing. They're a great snack. And Ethan loves them. Well, Ethan has two friends over, Kevin and Chloe, and they start to get hungry. Of course, they all love carrots because carrots are like the perfect snack. Now, in Ethan's house, there are only three carrots. They're just three carrots. We are going to have to divide the three carrots amongst the three kids. So let's figure this out. How many carrots does each kid get? Do you know? Uh-huh. Each kid gets one carrot. Pretty simple, right? Three carrots, three kids, each kid gets one carrot. Hey, did you know we just did division? Uh-huh, we just did division. Division is pretty simple. You see, division is splitting a number up by any given number. That's it, just splitting a number up. Let's look at our story again. There were three carrots, and we divided those three carrots by three because there are three people right the three kids that love carrots and the answer of how many carrots each kid gets is one three divided by three equals one notice right here is the division sign this is what it looks like when you see that sign you could just say divided by so this reads 3 divided by 3 equals 1. Let's try another example of division. Let's say there are 8 presents. 8 presents and there are 4 women and we want each of the women to get the same amount of presents as the other women because we want it to be fair. Notice the division sign. We are going to divide or split up 8 by 4. Remember, to divide is to split up. Let's split these presents up into 4 equal groups. 1, 2, 3, 4. Alright, how many presents does each woman get? Uh-huh, 2. Each woman gets 2 presents. Isn't that cool? Division is so much fun and it's so easy. Remember, division is splitting a number up by any given number. That's it. Alright, now it's time for division facts. We're going to learn some pretty interesting facts about division. And you're going to be like, what? Oh my goodness. Like secrets. This is super cool. Okay. So just look around. All right. Make sure. All right. So who's clear? All right. It's time for division facts. The first fact is this. You can never divide by zero. It's true, you can never divide by zero even if you're a rule breaker and you're like, I'm gonna do whatever I want. You still can never divide by zero. In fact, if a teacher ever gives you a test and you see a problem where you have to divide a number by zero, just write on the test, undefined. Because that's exactly what that answer would be, undefined, it's impossible kind of like Mr. Whiskers math skills. Does Mr. Whiskers do math in his head all day long? Who knows? His math skills are undefined. We just don't know. It's impossible to know. You know, Mr. Whiskers might know how to do division. Who knows? Undefined. You can't divide by zero. You can never divide by zero. 
If you ever see any division problem dividing by zero, just write undefined. It's impossible. It's impossible. So just write undefined. The second fact is this. You can write the division sign three ways. Uh-huh. Not just with that traditional division sign. You can write it like the division sign, or you can write a division problem with the slash, or with a horizontal line. For example, look at this. 12 divided by 3 equals 4. That's the original division sign, the one that you might see more regularly. But here is the same equation written in a different way. 12 divided by 3 equals 4. It's still a division sign, but it's a slash. It means the same thing as the original division sign. Remember, the division sign can also be a horizontal line. 12 divided by 3 equals 4. That looks like a fraction, doesn't it? The line in a fraction means divided by. These are the three ways that you can write the division sign. Pretty interesting. All right, the final fact is this. Okay, this is so awesome. You can flip the number of groups and the number in each group and the division problem stays true. For example, 10 divided by two equals five and you can flip the 2 and the 5, and it stays true. That means 10 divided by 5 equals 2. Isn't that interesting? 10 divided by 2 equals 5, and 10 divided by 5 equals 2. You can flip the number of groups and the number in each group, and it still stays true. Or look at this. 18 divided by 6 equals 3. Remember, we can flip the number of groups and the number in each group, and it still stays true. So we can switch the 6 and the 3, and it stays true. So 18 divided by 3 equals 6. The 6 and the 3 can be flipped. So 18 divided by 6 equals 3, and 18 divided by 3 equals 6. Pretty nifty. Those were some cool facts. You know, division is a great time. Division is splitting a number up by any given number. It's a lot of fun, and we hope you learned a whole lot in this video. Hey, thanks for watching Homeschool Pop. <laughs> yeah, I love carrots. You know, I, I don't have any friends over today, and there's still three carrots left. And so 3 divided by 1 for just me means that I get to have all 3 carrots. <laughs> I love carrots.